Now, what type of a data is required? Yeah, I clearly told that uh, we need to have an unstructured data, text data, or a comments kind of thing where emails, blogs, um, review sites, you know, these are all the data which will help you to um, uh, type of data which you require. Okay. And if anybody is asking you as a task that to do a text analytic, then you need to keep in mind that, okay, whether do I have a text data to apply a text analytics. But I have given some of the examples here, um, which is a, a good, re good and responsive online retail company. Okay. And this is one sentence. Okay. And uh, what uh, this sentence is conveying a message is, uh, yeah, uh, the online retail company, uh, operational wise is good and it's very responsive and uh, so that's the reason um, they, they given uh, a good and responsive online retail means it's functioning well that was the message it is conveying okay so like this if you have hundreds of comments then you need to bring the value out of that for example assume uh, as a uh, text analytics person <laughs> some uh, a client comes and asking you okay can you please analyze uh, who are all my competitors in the market in the retail space and what was their um, what was the people complaining about the, their products and services and based on that this person what he will do he will rectify uh, he, he will uh, he, he will try to um, see that uh, um, uh, the same defect should not occur in his processes. So he want to do uh, uh, analyze the uh, his competitors' uh, weakness, okay, and his competitors' defect. So based on that, what he will do, he will rectify from his side if it is having, and based on that, he will get a uh, good customer satisfaction, okay. And it will it will keep uh, it it will make you into a good position. It will place into a good position in the market. So that way it helps actually. So this is one kind of a case. It's a practical scenario where you can get uh, you know, you can get. So you suppose if you're starting a company, you want to start a product uh, related to some or you want to start an analytics company and you want to analyze. Okay, whether I start an analytics company, it will um, work or not. You will know that market is having analytics is a booming, and because of that, uh, okay, you will think that okay, I will also get a, a good business. But if people were not able to understand the analytics, then getting a business is a difficulty in that particular area. So you have to educate the people and get the business is a uh, one of the uh, critical challenges actually. Okay, and if the if the owner knows that okay, analytics is going to help the uh, his business, definitely the people will use that. But by applying analytics, what happens? They will get more benefits because they will come to, they can uh, have the actual information what is going wrong in their system. Okay, rather than uh, blindly throwing that, okay, whether it hit, hit will, uh, whether it will hit or not, uh, blindly instead of throwing, uh, throwing it blindly, they will have a fact information to take uh, further decisions. So that way, the analytics will help. So for each and every business, no, the analytics will uh, give a lot of value. So that's the reason each and every domain, you take uh, whatever domain, no, each and every domain will have a data and they need to uh, grow into a uh, good business area, then definitely they will use the analytics uh, to get a in, insights and they need to understand their customers, so they will apply the text analytics. This will, uh, going forward, people will do this process. That's the reason most of the companies now looking that, okay, what my customers are talking, why, or why each and every company is looking for a customer analytics means, if customer is not there, then there is no business. Okay, so you you need to understand your customers, what they are doing. So definitely you have to apply these techniques. So analytics is, it's a, analytics is not like some other um, IT department. Uh, analytics is a kind of a, uh, functional in the uh, organization, like how accounts, how finance department is there, how HR department is there. Similar way, analytics department will play a role. Okay, and it is not fall under any IT or uh, anything. It, it, analytics department will have its own set of functionalities and it have its own set of goals 
to help in the decision process. Yeah. Okay. What kind of uh, knowledge and the tools required for uh, um, uh, for doing a text analytics? So you need to uh, you need to know NLP techniques, which is nothing but handling of a natural language processing. Uh, so each person to person, the natural language will vary. Uh, so you need to understand um, how the person see. I'll, I'll put a one review question. Okay, I lay uh, uh, for a chatbot, for example, I take a chatbot. In the chatbot, inform it's a information chatbot. You are asking, hey bot, could you please, uh, uh, could you please uh, uh, provide the uh, uh, some X document? Is a one person is asking. Another person will uh, say, hey, I need uh, X document. And there is another person will say, X document, can you provide? So like that, any per same same doc for same document. Different person is asking in different way. So you need to understand each person. You need to understand the scenarios and build a model. No, it will help a lot. So for that, you need to know the some of the uh, the handling of the uh, grammar. So for that, you need to know NLP and uh, the tools available for NLP is uh, Python NLPK, IBM Watson, and uh, in R you have a TM package. And there are other tools also there, which I now listed here. And the uh, words dictionary, which is uh, I told you, um, uh, if you are if you are doing a sentiment analysis, then you need to have a positive word list, negative word list, negation word list, and a weightage word list kind of a thing. Suppose if you are doing analysis, uh, text analytics, with respect to a domain specific, for example, you are using a banking, then you need to have all the banking. Keywords related dictionary where you can apply a text analytic, um, where, where, where you can apply a technique and uh, narrow down your uh, processes. Okay, uh, suppose if I am using apple, apple is what? Apple is uh, it can be a fruit or it can be a um, uh, 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 organization, uh, laptop related. Okay, a uh, laptop or a software, um, uh, apple uh, hardware related. Okay, so you need to domain specific. You need to prepare a library. If it's a fruit seller, you need to have all the fruits list dictionary, uh, dictionary where you have uh, apple, grape, and all things will be there. And if you, if it is a hardware related or if it's a computer related, then uh, you will put as an apple as a uh, one brand and a Sony as a one brand. Okay, so domain specific, you need to prepare a dictionary. And uh, for example, um, love all. Love all is what? Love is a um, you, you, it's a sport. Uh, love all is related to a sports word. And you so you if you want to identify such kind of things, a sports related dictionary you have to prepare. So like that, for domain specific, you have to prepare a word dictionary. Then it will give you a good results related to that. Don't but uh, remember that if you prepare whatever dictionary, the same dictionary you cannot apply in another domain. Okay, and uh, um, because the reason is 50% uh, it may satisfy your requirement, 50% so it may not because the relevancy was not there. And uh, training data preparation is one of the um, which you need to know when you applying any classification algorithms, machine learning algorithms. When you apply, you need to have a capability to prepare a training data. Training data, for example. Um, uh, for, for example, a person is uh, asking uh, about the bank account open. Okay, account to open, account to open uh, related. I need to see that okay whether the customer is asking whether account related account to open related question or any other thing. Okay, in such cases, what you have to do? Account to open is a uh, one word. Okay, I'll put a training data as I want to open my account. Can you please let me know how to open account? Could you please let me know how to open account? What is the procedure for open an account? So like this, you have to prepare a questions with respect to open account. Then you will get a hundred of hundreds of questions, and you have to put. Then if you feed to your algorithms, no, it will understand. Okay, it's this query is related to uh, open account. Then what it will do? It will bring the procedure related to that. So. 
like that you have to build the uh, training data and uh, train your models okay and where uh, you use a text uh, you, you need to know text classification technique um, you can use uh, any random forest or you can use navy based classifiers svm uh, support vector missions so there are deep learning techniques are there okay and these are all uh, text classification techniques where uh, you can apply on the um, uh, any text data <coughs> okay see uh, basically uh, the challenges with, uh, with respect to uh, text analytics no uh, your data whatever data you take um, if it is a structured data you will not feel uh, any noisy but uh, with respect to unstructured data you will have a lot of noisy where you will have a special characters uh, you will have a junk characters and uh, unicode characters uh, and the different language characters will be there so those are all you have to clean up and bring a value out of that okay so first when you take any data you have to uh, have a uh, data um, uh, data cleansing where you have to remove all these kind of uh, junk characters uh, special characters because it will not going to give any meaning value uh, it's not going to give any uh, meaning yeah there are certain places where it will give meaning suppose you have a smiley uh, with a uh, smiley then uh, you need to have a smiley dictionary to understand the thing okay so uh, th that's also you, you can consider okay if you don't want you can remove that also so like that your uh, nice data will be there you have to clean up the thing which is a challenging task in text analytics and uh, first task is getting the data itself is a uh, relevant data getting a relevant data is a uh, biggest task actually okay and once you got the data then clean up is one of the biggest task if you are able to uh, do uh, these two no uh, next uh, next you will see uh, another difficult part is applying these techniques uh, to, um, to to bring a value out of it so each and everywhere you can see uh, difficulties in text analytics but you can enjoy the work and it um, it will give uh, it will give full satisfaction of what what we do and it will, it will give a lot of information and one is a multilingual, uh, multilingual which I mentioned and uh, relationship extraction um, with respect to, to a subject and object and those kind of relationship you want to extract and uh, it, it is a one of the cha challenges in the uh, text analytics world and uh, the same word conveying a different meanings um, is a one thing which you frequently see in the text analytics and you need to handle uh, separately uh, the words with respect to you can see these kind of things in the uh, domain based uh, dictionaries where you can see a, a, a same conveying a, a different meanings kind of thing and pattern detection is one of the challenges uh, where, where you can see in a text analytics okay how the business will be benefited okay you 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 know you want to know your customer who is your customer for example i will tell you uh, a retail scenario okay a customer visit a store and he pick up some of the store items from the case and he is putting in the basket and once again he is putting back you are taking a image of that customer okay now you are taken uh, you, you will have an images of the customers um, uh, customers those who are purchasing and uh, uh, the images which will tell you the customer behavior so now what you done based on that image you classified a customer okay this customer will be purchase or he will um, he will not purchase kind of a thing now same thing with respect to text analytics what you will do customer the psychic okay i mean the customer uh, face uh, face features will tell you okay what kind of customer he is and whether the customer is a um, kind of a uh, happy person or whether the customer a customer is a angry person or whether the customer is a uh, smiley person kind of a thing okay and that you have to make it into uh, those kind of uh, classifications and you can apply text analytics on that okay what kind of is a character what kind of character is so 
Oh, that's one. That is one example where uh, in retail store you can apply. Okay, and uh, you want to know the customer intentions. Okay, suppose customers um, giving a feedback. Uh, customer saying that uh, uh, always is complaining that your product is not uh, your product is not working. Always I have a problem with this. Okay, and if you see that customer ten times complaining. Okay, and it conveys that the message one is. A customer is a, a kind of a aggressive customer who is uh, always complaining, even though the product is uh, not having a problem. Or it can also say that okay, customer is uh, always conveying the message, but uh, our uh, people, uh, our services were not good because of that. Customer is getting frustrated, so it will tell you okay, customer what is expecting? Is expecting whether a first resolution or uh, first. Uh, first call resolution, or is it uh, is expecting to prolong in a piece? So those kind of informations you will come to know, and you will be able to identify that okay, uh, is a our premium customer or not? Those informations you will come to know, and what customers are needed also you will come to know. Uh, customer is suggesting that uh, if this feature is available, then it will be good. So like this, if uh, hundreds of people are complaining, then uh, hundreds of people are suggesting. Then what happens? It will give a trigger to the development team, uh, R&D team that uh, say, okay, so and so product is not having this feature. Most of the customers are expecting this feature. Then it will allow uh, it will allow the R&D team to work on that and bring that feature into the future. So that way also you will understand the customer needs. Okay, and. Uh, brand position in the market. So, what people are talking about your brand, uh, what people are talking about your uh, products, and now we will come to know based on the uh, business will come to know uh, by doing a text analytic and the organization sentiment whether the customer is talking about positive or negative. So, what they are talking that also, uh, if you want to know, then um, you have to apply a text analytic. And uh, product related, whether the product at what level it is having a problem. Suppose you have a ten products. Out of ten products, nine products are performing well, and one product is not performing well. And that product is suppose it's a high class product and which is not performing well. Then customer is saying that uh, we have put a lot of money on this one, and the product is not working properly. Is complaining. Then you have to look at it. If hundreds of your customers are complaining. Then you know, it will trigger the uh, the team that okay this product uh, is having a problem. Then uh, custom you have to analyze what customers talking about that product and where they are saying that it is not working. Some uh, some socket problem or uh, it is not identifying Wi-Fi pro properly uh, or uh, device is having some problem kind of a thing. Uh, or uh, people saying that this product is a cause and it is having uh, always. Uh, uh, hanging means that uh, um, maybe the product uh, uh, feature uh, hanging related uh, uh, it, it's hanging means so because of uh, shortage of memory or uh, uh, it is not it, it requires a lot of process to do the things because of that uh, application is uh, responding slow these informations will trigger to the uh, R&D department uh, when they analyze the thing and they will recognize the, the Samsung uh, battery previously the Samsung 4 or I think Samsung 4 uh, is having a battery problem. Samsung 4 or 6 is having a battery problem. Uh, S, S4 or S, S6 I think uh, they have replaced um, the battery. Okay, so that how they come to know is based on the customer complaints only. Okay, um, they thought that okay initially it is a um, Mobile problem, but later they identified okay, it's a battery problem. Okay, and they rectified the thing. And so new, new innovation, uh, new innovative ideas it will give. So if you want to know innovative ideas, yeah, you have to update external analytics, then you will come to know. And the use cases, uh, typical use cases uh, at a domain wise, uh, finance, with respect to finance. Uh, you can uh, suppose if you are a, a credit card man, uh, credit card handling process. So in such cases, you can analyze uh, the transaction uh, history of the that particular uh, uh, 
um, card level or you want to see each customer transaction level history and analyze apply a text analytics on that and uh, uh, analyze the uh, behavior where the, this customer is spending an amount so like that you can uh, you can identify the thing in finance related and the risk uh, risk analytics models also uh, you can apply uh, text analytics uh, with respect to the transaction levels uh, how it is happening and where it is happening and uh, at which site level it is happening um, and you can um, you can apply text analytics and bring a value out of it and uh, insurance insurance related if you take any client processes okay and people will give a lot of documents uh, with respect to clients and uh, they will give information and you have to analyze that whether this case is a genuine or not and uh, based on that you can you want to approve the uh, you have to give the uh, what are the clients is uh, done by the uh, customer so there it is instead of manually analyzing those things if you apply a text analytics model, it will reduce a lot of process. Okay, and media related, which I told you, social media, social media marketing. Okay, and uh, now social media is the place where most of the people uh, look for any product reviews or uh, before purchasing the things, what people are talking. And it is uh, uh, why social media plays a major role is now most of the people um, looking at Facebook or Twitter where uh, people will see that okay what people and they will share with the friends uh, without any other so uh, that's, a, that's a place where uh, people lot of people are uh, actually participating so in such places uh, if you promote your products and uh, uh, no it will uh, it, it will give, it will give you, um, you can attract more customers okay and uh, if you uh, if you do any advertisements in the Facebook or Twitter uh, in the morning uh, uh, you are during the 24 hours you can uh, you can see that okay at what time uh, at what time customers are looking at uh, my ads okay and based on that you can extract the information okay between uh, six to ten o'clock people are not watching the Facebook or Twitter because the reason is there could be uh, the reason uh, they will be uh, busy with the uh, readying their kids for uh, schools and uh, people are uh, preparing for, um, uh, for, for, for um, uh, to go office so uh, during the, that is a preparation time so that's why they were not active during that time so it, it will trigger that information and uh, where you can uh, uh, you, uh, you can avoid uh, putting advertisement during that time because people are not looking at the time. So it, it will tell you where the, the more presence is there. So based on that, you can promote your uh, products or anything uh, in the social media where you can attract the customers. And when you talk about the uh, audio, um, with respect to audio analytics, no? uh, for example, when you do a call center call, okay, and it will be recorded. Why they will record is they want to see that okay how the agent is uh, receiving the customer and uh, um, based on that they will take the action okay whether um, customers um, were properly handled or not those kind of analysis they do so in BPO industry if you see text analytics uh, wise to text conversion they will do after that they will analyze the text and uh, and put it into a dashboard and uh, see that okay what exactly is happening. So that way in voice analytics uh, also the text analytics plays a, uh, in voice also the text analytics plays a major role. And retail uh, already told so you um, a process control okay uh, which is uh, operator related I told and okay, energy related. So these are the some of the places where you can apply all these techniques. Okay and this is one of the uh, telecom company uh, which I did a uh, social media analysis where I can see uh, the negativity for the uh, social media in uh, Facebook. Uh, it's a uh, 54 percent negativity. Uh, they have uh, a negative impression on the, the telecom company because it's uh, one of the uh, government telecom company. So that reason the negativity is more um, and uh, the positivity was very less. Okay, and 
this is what uh, which I said about the category wise. Okay, uh, when I do a sentiment analysis, in that uh, I have seen that what uh, they have the problem. See, the organization level, they were talking about the organization. 16% they are complaining about the organization sentiment. Okay, so organization sentiment was 16% um, people having a negative opinion uh, with respect to organization. Okay. And uh, some from some uh, some is related to product. So the product was uh, uh, providing by this telecom company is having a negativity uh, in the customer mind is uh, six uh, six point five or six six point two percent. And uh, EMI is related with respect to billing and all. No, so they have around negativity one point four seven percent. So like this, uh, you can able to see uh, see why uh, there is a there is a date and time classification. You basically get a doubt. Okay, what is this date and time classification? Maybe the issue resolution. Uh, resolution. Uh, when customer is raising a um, issue and uh, to rectify that issue, they are taking up too much of time. So those kind of problems uh, will be classified under uh, date and time classification. I can put it in some other uh, classification also, but I take it into a date and time because uh, I can look at it. Okay, how many? Uh, cases are uh, having a resolution problem kind of thing, which are people are talking about the late response or delay in resolving the issues. Those things I am classifying under date and time. So agent related. So some uh, so with respect to agent uh, sentiment. So there are six point five percent of people who are not properly handling the clients. So it will trigger who are all that who are all there. And what kind of um, uh, people handling what kind of calls? Okay, so that is what um, you can able to interpret and uh, take uh, actionable items. Okay, and see this is a uh, in the chart. dot com is a company where they do a customer service. Um, they take uh, what customer is want uh, with respect to based on the messages, SMS, social media, live chat, and uh, so whatever the message is type you know in whatever the channel, and they will take that message and they apply a text analytics on that, and they will route it to a right person and to get faster resolution. This is one of the case where you can apply text analytics. So. So oh, customer will get uh, quick response and quick resolution. Where customer will get more uh, more satisfaction. It is a plus point for the organization. So this is one of the uh, customer service use case where you can apply text analytics. Another one is social media sales. If in social media, I told uh, when you do promotions and people will be uh, inquiring. For example, a person who wants to purchase a car he is asking his friend. Hey, uh, hey, uh, I want to purchase uh, so and so car. Could you please let me know how it is and um, kind of thing. Okay, and uh, he also uh, enter. Uh, he also visit the uh, that particular uh, uh, car provider, uh, service provider, and uh, he will ask that. Okay, I want to know what are the features available in this car and what kind of uh, uh, brands you have and uh, uh, what kind of. Um, what the price, uh, price related, and uh, how many variants you have? Those kind of information is asking. Okay, and uh, like that, so many people will be, uh, many people will be interacting on the that particular uh, car related uh, or uh, any product related uh, site. So their team continuously monitoring their uh, Twitter feeds or uh, their uh, social media feeds, uh, Facebook feeds, and uh, they identified okay. Uh, how many people are inquiring in the social media related to uh, purchase of the car? So they will expect all those informations. There will be a lot of uh, comments will be there, but uh, in that only there are certain places where only uh, they are inquiring about the purchase of the things. So we want to accept only that information and provide it to a right team, and that team will uh, contact the customer and uh, check that what what customer wants. So this is one of the another uh, typical use case where they use engagement, customer engagement, and they will uh, convert into um, dollar. I mean um, uh, revenue. 
and the, some of the text analytics competitors um, who are in the market, okay, and uh, their features and benefits and what are the strategies they were following. And IBM, IBM Watson is also um, is a text analytics where, where they will apply natural language processing and um, understand the things what customers want and uh, you can use any um, chatbots uh, or any uh, NLP related things. No, you can use IBM Watson API also to satisfy your requirement needs. If you are uh, feeling difficult to, to apply a text analytics then you can use a uh, APIs available in the market and that APIs you can uh, just you need to feed the text data and it will provide the information. For example, uh, you can see IAO labs um, in Bangalore, uh, they have, um, uh, what kind of a text analytics they do and then they will have some demo kind of a thing in the internet where you can feed uh, data and see that okay what it is conveying a message, whether it is um, it, it's conveying that what was the customer mode and what was the intention and what was the sentiment, those are kind of information you can get it. Okay. So next, what are the opportunities? Yeah, see with respect to analytics, if you speak, uh, no, any, uh, see, if you look at the analytics as a separate, no, it have a market till the business is there. Okay, and it all depends on how you apply analytics on the uh, data is the most important part. Okay, so analytics market is uh, it, it is like uh, going forward it will never die. That's what uh, my perception because the reason is uh, four years um, four five years before. I was um, thinking about doing uh, some analytics kind of a thing. During that time, many people were not aware of uh, the analytics. Okay, and some people were doing internally, but it was not exposed outside. Later, after five years, if I see the analytics, uh, how it was, because people were understand that, okay, this is a, where, this is a place where we can get the um, more information to improve the business. So, every business, started doing analytics because they want to get into a good position in the business okay and they want to satisfy their customers they want to retain their customers if customer is not there then there is no business so they have to retain the customer if they need to retain the customer what they have to understand the customer so how they will understand the customer they have to apply uh, analytics methods to it then they will understand the uh, information Okay, so they will get the uh, um, they will get the better information to take a better decisions. So if any business is running, it it based on the decisions. Okay, if they want to take the decision, they have to implement the analytics. So each and every business, whatever business you take in the world, each and every business will have analytics. Okay, so going forward, the um, you want to survive in the job uh, for the future next 20, 30 years, then. Analytics is the only area where you can survive. Means you, you, will, you will have a job. Always it is a challenging job. You will always have a job. Okay, and there is always a requirement will be there because uh, because the people uh, it is in the starting stage only. Okay, it is not at the mature stage. So there it's always a lack of um, resources. Uh, resources is not there, uh, resource scarcity is in the market. So definitely they need the analytics people at specialized areas. Okay, and whatever the area you take, you will get uh, you will have an analytics play a major role for the driving the business. So always analytics will have a market. It's not like other technologies. Other technologies business will be there, but those things and all now will reduce comparing the investments what is going in analytics will increase okay and it will play a um, major role in artificial intelligence so and back end side it will run on analytics only whether it is a iot or whether it is a artificial intelligence whatever you take analytics is a one of the backbone for this one okay and 
you if you want to do artificial intelligence what you will do you have to analyze the data then only you can uh, based on the technique you will uh, do the artificial intelligence okay so you need to know analytics so analytics will play a role there iot data I, iot is what iot is a process of collecting the data uh, data and once you collect the data if you are not analyzing there is no you know, there is no use so there also you have to apply the analytics and bring a value out of it definitely market will be there for iot so market will be there for analytics continuously and if you see the salaries um, so this is the uh, what uh, currently the salary which um, um, in the analytics space getting and uh, if we uh, are data scientists then they will get a more uh, yeah, this is only less only uh, data science people will get a more 35 lakhs uh, 40 lakhs per annum also okay and if you are really uh, a good data analyst also nowadays uh, one year two years experience data data analysts uh, with one or two experience they are also getting 8 lakhs 9 lakhs which is you will not get in any of the uh, other technologies 